Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Hip Hop to Time, where we talk about the hip hop genre and its history. We are your hosts, Manraj. And I'm Deshante. Today we want to talk about the evolution of hip hop through the 2000s. Sit back and enjoy listening. Ever since the early 1970s, when hip hop spread to different bars of New York City, hip hop as a musical genre has seen plenty of innovation and evolution. The early to late 2000s saw a lot of innovation and new elements being introduced into the genre. The gritty hardcore rap of the East Coast and the gangster rap of the West Coast were arguably the most popular styles of the 90s. Hip hop artists of the 90s often maintained a strict gangster persona which was consistent with their music. Big artists like Jay-Z and Notorious B.I.G. did not shy away from rapping about their drug dealing past. As the new millennium approached, a large section of hip-hop started moving away from raps about the ghetto life. In 2000, the Atlanta hip-hop duo OutKast, which comprised of Andre 3000 and Big Boy, released their critically acclaimed fourth album Stankonia. The album showcased the duo's refusal to stick to not only the old rules of hip-hop, but also to any one genre, as it drew from sources such as psychedelia, gospel, funk, techno, soul, and rock music. In the same year, Eminem's Stan became one of the strangest hip-hop hits of all time, widely regarded as one of the best storytelling tracks and exploring the theme of star worship. It showcases an exchange between Eminem and a dangerously obsessive fan, in other words, a stan. In the early 2000s, Kanye West popularized the chipmunk soul sampling which dominated hip-hop production for the next few years. His lyrics often mentioned fashion and designer brands which became a frequent occurrence in hip-hop music, a trend which is still popular in the present day. His 2007 album, Graduation, featured heavy use of electronic sounds and layered synthesizers and was inspired by indie rock, house music, and stadium sounds. Graduation was released the same day as 50 Cent's Curtis, where Graduation managed to outsell 50 Cent's album. Since 50 Cent was the face of gangster rap in the early to mid-2000s, the outcome of this friendly versus is said to have marked the end of gangster rap in mainstream hip-hop. Now let's hear Deshante speak on how other aspects of hip-hop like music videos evolved. In the golden age of hip-hop, as the content of hip-hop and rap songs focused more on gang affiliations, violence, and the overall struggles of living in the hood, the music videos of this genre provided viewers that image of rappers being tough, aggressive, and gangster. While 80s and 90s hip-hop and rap music videos were shot in poor, broken streets or sketchy locations, most times having groups of gang members in the background displaying attitude and aggression in their mannerisms, 2000s hip-hop music videos were not as intense, most times displaying many bright colors, multiple people dancing in clubs and concerts, and positivity throughout the video. Musicians such as OutKast, Kanye West, Jay-Z, and Pharrell are all examples of well-known hip-hop artists in the 2000s who rejected the gangster image popularized in the 90s, instead producing music videos that illustrated love, lavish lifestyles, and spreading positivity, which was more appropriate for the newer generation's media that required artists to resonate with the general public. Another huge change with the evolution of hip-hop in the 2000s was that music became more digital in the sense that it became much more accessible for listeners compared to how it was in the 90s. Pre-90s, the cassette tape was the main way of listening to music, while during the 90s, CDs rose to prominence due to the higher quality and compact form. However, the 2000s became the digital era for music, where portable CD players and MP3 players were the most common ways to listen to music on the go, which allowed it to be much more accessible. In addition, the release of the iPod in 2001 was a goldmine for all music enthusiasts, as it not only provided them with more accessibility, but also allowed them to download and save thousands of songs to their playlists, which proved to be a major factor in the spreading popularity of hip-hop in the 2000s. Thank you for listening, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed listening to how hip-hop evolved in the early 2000s. Take care and tune in next time.